fuels and it's burning harder with more oxygen potassium chlorate our first example what i'm gonna do is show you how to handle eye protection you need to wear it then scoop it up and put it in a dry bucket next clean the area wash it and rinse it we'll look at dr dyson stuff and have to deal with it oh yeah we're heating up now oxidized substances provide oxygen which makes fires burn more fiercely so you need to be careful with them if you spill any put on your goggles put it in a dry bucket and clean the area flammable substances like ethanol catch on fire damn easy so be careful with them all remove all sources of heat and ignition then make sure you ventilate the position soak it up with paper that's your mission think about it it's a liquid mop it up Make sure that it's away or it might become a fire later on in the day. We be on fire! Now, highly flammable substances. If you don't know what highly flammable means, I can't really help you. But, if you spill any, make sure there's nothing about that can set this substance off. Ventilate the area and get rid of it. But when dealing with chemicals, check out the symbols, check out the symbols, check out the symbols. There are six that are harmful. Check out the symbols, check out the symbols, check out the symbols. There are six that are hazardous. Check out the symbols, check out the symbols, check out the symbols. Burning lots of fire, and others might kill. They're all over teen burn you and make you feel ill. Third one's toxic, and everybody knows this stuff will kill you if it's swallowed. It also affects you when it contacts your skin, and if you breathe it in, it puts your mind in a spin. Chlorine's your example, if you spill it, here's a story. First you must evacuate the laboratory. Open up the windows and ventilate the room. And close all the doors so no one walks into their doom. Your toxic love slipping under. Uh, hello, yes, uh, toxic stuff can cause death. So, be very careful with this stuff, okay? If you spill it, evacuate the lab! Open the windows and shut the doors. Get an expert to clean it up for you, clumsy. Harmful's next, it's better than toxic. It won't kill you, it'll harm you, baby, just watch it. Iodine, this is an example. If you spill it, don't treat it like a perfume sample. Wear gloves and eye protection, now get moving. Place it in a fume cupboard with a solution. Sodium thiosulfate a solution, and the fume cupboard takes away the nasty pollution. Harmful stuff. Well, it's not going to kill you, but you still need to take care. If you spill some, put your goggles on, put it in a fume cupboard, and neutralize it. Take more care next time. When dealing with chemicals, check out the symbols, check out the symbols, check out the symbols. There are six that are harmful. Check out the symbols, check out the symbols, check out the symbols. There are six that are hazardous. Check out the symbols, check out the symbols, check out the symbols. Burning lots of fire, and others might kill. They're all over to burn you and make you feel ill. Up to number five, and they're corrosive. They burn through anything, they're not explosive. Hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide are two examples they can give you a rough ride wear eyeglasses and neutralize the stuff then rinse the area that's enough to be safe a corrosive spills the tide is turned but the substance that neutralizes them must be learned gonna bust a cap in you eh well that's what corrosive stuff actually does it burns right through things including your skin spillage ah well whack those goggles on and neutralize it baby Final one's irritants and they can be nasty They'll blister up your skin and make it look like a pasty But they're easier to deal with than you think Simply scoop up the solid and dissolve it in the sink One example of this is calcium chloride If you spill it don't worry, we won't tan your hide All you need to do is put it in H2O It's not as bad as the others and the lab won't blow Irritants! Well, they're kind of irritating, really They won't burn through your skin but they'll make it all red and blistered. Not really very nice. So, if you spill any of this, scoop it up and dissolve it in water. Dead easy. Hey.